go and have a look. First time the overcast is listed, the birds are just starting to get chirpy. Ah, uh, we're at, uh, and we're at about 4.30 now. <sighs> BC time. There we go, I'll try this again. At first you don't succeed, fall back to earth and try again. Found. Now oh, there we are. Let's go to auto. Man manual. As you and all probably know, right now, Friday is right now, March the 11th. We're about an hour and a half into a uh, super saturation above us, which is an accumulative effect. Starting with the CME that made a fairly square shot in on us. When I say us, I don't just mean Earth, the ground you stand on. Earth is a lot bigger than that. You have to at least include the outskirts of the active magnetosphere, which is by now changing all the time. Let's see if we can trick this thing into going into super zoom. Back to auto. Such chirpy birds, eh? Take another stab at it. Uh, can't penetrate the atmosphere of Earth! Too much electromagnetic ionized hydrogen! Oh, back down to Earth. Uh, okay, here we are. Yeah, maybe the reflection will do us. That's the reflection in the duck pond. No idea how this is going to turn out. Let's go to manual. And now all I can get out of her is 90x. Well, there you go. I'll fill in the events. Keep in mind, <clears throat> we still have an pending X level potential out of 166. Back up on shore. I can't stand on top of the water all day. Hey guys! I just love it when they take me for walks through the duck pond. Are you gonna share some of that? It's the people out in YouTube land. Which, again, can extend well beyond the Earth. Like, um, what, 12 light years beyond the Earth? When, when, when did the signals first start going out? From the, the actual primary data bank. Which is, uh, yeah, doesn't matter where it's buried. Clearly there's fresh grass shoots out or something that these guys are 
foraging for. It's a fine thing as long as they leave enough for the plant. And grow. You can take dominion over something you better damn well make sure fulfills its life obligations, so in my box. You grow something, you better make sure that it has a chance to leave seeds and that you guardian those seeds and restore it back to life for what you've consumed. And hopefully you've allowed it to live its full life span. Keeping in mind the compromise that when well, we're predators we have to survive and you know, how you survive. And, and, and what do you do with your surplus meat? Do you use it to compete? To harm each other? To take what each other has or seeks? To prevent each other from getting what we have or seek? Or, or <laughs> as twisted as it's gotten now in the cheating game? To... To cause scarcity! The age-old game gone mastered! Yeah. That's what I'm getting at. That kind of effort... Such wasted effort. With that, we 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 should be well into the Voyager, the earliest series, uh, or uh, Star Trek, the earliest series level of technology. You know? well, who the fuck wants to trade if if they absolutely don't have to with anyone that acts the way we do? Oh, we got surplus. Let's, let's infest it and take what the other guy has, including his life. Yeah! Well, okay, it hasn't worked in our entire 8,000 year existence. You know, I realize Homo sapien is a young species. Whenever exactly it, it appeared is, you know, kind of a very hard to define line. Does somebody influenced it. There are a whole bunch of mutants that don't belong on Earth? Well, I don't know. I really don't know. And I won't know because it became quite evident that we couldn't even have things like data banks on this planet without some competitive arsehole doing the, oh, hey, oh I can pass those GMOs, yeah, yeah, I can, uh, those are my genetic patents, because I described them, sort of, first, uh, the coveting, all mine, you gotta pay to have them, well, fuck off, again, that's what I'm talking about, that's how you're gonna spend your surplus fucking resources, and, and you think somebody with a choice is going to want to do business with that? Like they would be an insane fucking lunatic. Like insane with compassion or, or something. To have anything to do with you. Other than avoid you. But, you know, I guess... I guess some of us think like a Laotian. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. Is there?